tonight. You're here, you're here tonight. To honor and celebrate the life of a really beautiful being, Sonia Bawa. Circumstances that I never would have predicted, nor would maybe anybody. I've become really kind of a family with Raj and, and Bina and Amber, and it's wonderful. And um, it makes uh, it makes all my songs, particularly tonight like prayers. And so I'm very glad that you're here and I'm very glad that I can be here. And, uh, if anyone wants to come um, up and share a story at some point, please just tap me if I'm closing my eyes <laughs> and do that. So.
this summer I feel like I I feel like I have a little bit more understanding of what it's like to lose someone that you're so so close to um, and do you know just watch them go through what they're going through just to, to be with you and um, my father fought uh, lung cancer for just about seven years and about two years ago his oncologist said to him so Harry what do, you, what do you want to do now? You've already made me famous. Because <laughs> apparently he had a, um, a kind of a cancer that, that usually wipes you out pretty quickly. But he, he fought so hard and everything that Bina has told me about this particular Enraj. But 
um, is that Sonia was, was an amazing fighter. And uh, it just, it makes, it makes us that are here, it makes me aware so much of how precious our time is. Sure, it snowed, but we're here, so. <laughs> so. So it's all about love. And this is a love song. This is Cayendo. I don't know if I'm drunk. I don't know if it's last night's buzz or tonight's murky moment. <laughs> um, but it feels like I'm falling in love. It's like, it's like it, it found its natural home. I wonder if I translated the songs into like Italian or <laughs> Turkish or German. any um, language. Uh, if 
try if, if, if how it would work out. I have to talk to Raj about that because he wants to write some songs with me, so maybe you have a, a Punjabi feel. <laughs> that would be cool. So uh, I wrote a song and a, and a song to you actually uh, in September. No, in October. Um, in German, and, and the only word I know in it is James. Um, but it's, 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 it's a funny song. The, the guy I was writing is completely, we did it completely. I know the chords, <laughs> too. But, uh, let's see. Uh, it, it's, about, it's about a girl that falls in love with her guitar. And she's dating this guy, and she loves this guy, too. But he finds out that she's sleeping with James, and he creeps back into her room one night to um, find out there's this like, lump in the bed next to her. And because he calls her and says we want to, he wants to go out, and she's like, I can't. I'm with James, and he's like, I, you know, I thought we were together. She goes, Well, we are, but you know, James is with me, so um, <laughs> he can't stand this thought. So he comes back in the middle of the night, and sneaks into her um, room, and sees um, this lump on the bed next to her, and she hears someone in the room with her. So she's startling. She jumps up out of bed, and, and it reveals the guitar in the bed next to her. And so he goes, and he, she goes, he goes. This is James. <laughs> She's like, yes, this is James. <laughs> I mean, it sort of has a, I don't know, some, 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 some German idioms. I think that we were doing it for all these Irish audiences, but it seemed to work. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Okay. This is nothing like that. So that last song is from <laughs> that last song is from my CD Tango, um, which is a song, the CD that I did in the four different languages: Arabic, Hebrew, Spanish, and English. And um, if you haven't um, got one, we have we have some here tonight. And this song, I had to go to the other end of the spectrum once again. And this song is back to my American roots. Um, this is um, a blue song called Biggest Baddest. My new CD. For Denny. I cannot convince you. I'm not gonna try One thing you will buy well Is your ability to fly I've got something
want to do the song, and I would love to do the song with, with her. So I'd also like to uh, invite up Liz and um, Carrie if they'd like to uh, play two uh, on the song. I know you never heard it. You may have heard it. You probably heard it. But, uh, awesome. but uh, it's, uh, it's in C. <laughs> And then we're gonna just laugh because uh, that's that's the great thing about music. <laughs> so um, I think when Sonia created the the pieces of cure idea, which you're probably familiar with, but for those of you who aren't familiar with it, I'll tell you about it, and those of you who are will think, what a great idea, once again. Um, <laughs> Peace is the Cure is the idea that um, that we would take, or that the President and or Congress would initiate this, um, would take uh, one day of funding for the, uh, well, which has become the Middle East War, it, at the time was the uh, Iraq War, and take one day of funding of, of that war and transfer it to research for uh, cancer. Um, and that was Sonia's idea, that, and that, that's where the Peace is the Cure thing came from, which is, if we could do that, and if we could do that for even more than one day, that would still be an amazing thing. So, you know, her idea was that we would get a thousand letters to, uh, to President Bush at the time. But the, but the quest goes on, and certainly um, our intention is still to raise money so that we can... Um, that we can create that sort of specific research. And um, and you're helping that happen, so thank you. And um, it's, a, it's, a, it's an open forum, um, it's an ongoing foundation. You set? Let her rip. Let her rip. We'll catch up. <laughs> thank you so much for coming up here. This thank you. Yeah. So it's Colleen. This is my desk and Kerry. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'll just start it and we'll just go. Yeah. Right. Figure it out as we go. Okay. I'm gonna move this a little bit up, but back myself. So Rob doing sound, by the way. Woo
as it is. I've lived for over 40 years and I've seen life as it is. Pain, misery, cruelty beyond belief. I've seen my comrades fall in battle or die more slowly under the lash of Africa. I've held them at the last moment and these were men who felt like as it is. They died despairing. No brave last words. Only their eyes filled with confusion, questioning why. And I do not think they were asking why they were dying, why they had ever lived. When life itself seems lunatic, who knows where madness lies? Perhaps to be too practical is madness. To surrender dreams, this may be madness. To seek treasure where there is only trash, or too much sanity may be madness. Sonia, she goes, you wrote the song for your dad, but you didn't, um, you didn't write a song for me. And I told her that every song was hers. And, uh, but then this song happened again. And I actually started this song a long, long time ago. Um, but it was just kind of hidden. And I would revisit it every now and then, like I do to pieces of things. And finally, it became this. is called Who I Am.
makes me believe I can touch the stars I can kiss the moon With just my voice chance and the choice, an opportunity to examine our reasons for doing what we do, and um, at different points at times when I could not sing this song because I would lose what it was, or I was too scared to think it was still true, but it's really ringing true for me lately, and I hope my heart can hear it all the time. It's not to put anybody else down, because the highest thing you can do is give your whole self to something that you believe in. And I completely respect everybody who's wearing a uniform and fighting. But at the same time, there's another process happening. And I pray the song becomes very old and silly. But this is a song that was written by Phil Oaks. I'd like to play for you for that song. How does anybody here? Yeah. 